Hello everyone, this is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard to Starship Enorma Prize for our first episode of PC Building Simulator. Okay, so the reason why I decided to play this is, um, one, it's a management game, uh, and you, you're basically, you're, you're a technician that is in charge of your own PC shop, so you get to build PCs like this and um, sell them, and then you also get contracts from people who have issues with their own PC, and you get to try and solve, uh, try to solve it. And I like these type of games because one, I'm a PC, I'm a PC enthusiast myself. I like learning new things about computers, learning, um, uh, not really building my own computers. I just don't really have the money to do all that stuff, but I like learning about it. And I like like putting things together and uh, checking all that stuff out. So I thought this would be a pretty good way, a pretty good game to add to the channel to kind of add a little bit more variety to it because it's different and it's kind of something I really don't have on the channel and it suits me. Because, like I said, I like to build things. So let's go ahead and get in a new game. Yes, I know I already have a game in. But we're going to overwrite that because we're not starting from where my personal save is. Okay, so here we go. Uh, to begin, go to your PC by the doorway and open the open the mail email program. I can't read. On the desktop because you've got mail. Alright. So first thing before we do that, we're going to play with the music player. And, um, let's see... Turn that one off, turn that one off. I don't really like those two songs. Um, I like the first two ones the most. If it gets too annoying, I'll probably eventually turn it off. But let's check our mail, see what the heck we got. Okay, this is from Timbo, Timbo2000 at supermail.com. Hey, thanks for taking over the PC shop for me. Sorry it's not in the best shape. Um, a few things, the company isn't doing very well and there is no money in the bank account. I see that, we're actually in the negative right now. The rent and energy bills come out monthly, so make sure you have enough money to pay for them. Okay. I have a job uh, on the go, which should help with the rent. Um, see the email below. Okay. That's from G. Albion. Uh, let's see. What else do we got here? Remember to use your thermal paste when putting in a CPU. I, I almost always forget, and the PC will overheat. Yes, that's very important. If you guys don't know what thermal paste is, um, it goes on between the CPU and heat sink and transfers to heat between the two. So without it, the CPU is not going to transfer the heat to the heat sink, which is supposed to keep it cool, and you've got lots and lots of problems. So I think you're all set up. If your company now, it's your company now, so run it how you see fit. Hope you do better than I did. Lots of love, Uncle Tim. P.S. I had to borrow 15 bucks for few. You know how it is. Did I say few? Fuel. Jeez. Okay, so that, that explains why we're in the negative. All right, so let's go ahead and discard that. Hope Uncle Tim does better than we're going to do. So let's see, our first one. Hi, Tim. Uh, apparently he doesn't know that we're, I guess we're Tim at the moment. I hope you can help me. My computer has been running slower than usual, and I think I have clicked on something I shouldn't have. Do I have a virus? Thanks, Gary. Um, you probably should keep an eye out for those porn sites. I'm sure that's probably how you got that virus. Uh, guy, I. One thing that I kind of like realize as I'm getting older that most porn sites apparently have gotten pretty clean. To tell you the truth, they're not as bad as they used to be. I mean, there's only a select few I go on, but I mean, it's they're better than they used to be. We'll just say that. <laughs> as long as you have ad blocker up or something up, you shouldn't have any problems with that. Or you know watch it on your cell phone that's always a good idea too because cell phones are usually harder to get viruses on okay so we need to remove the viruses so first thing we need to do uh, we need to plug the PC in I knew the game would take over for me at that point for this job you need to run a virus scan press uh, 3 on the cable um, button and plug in the monitor keyboard mouse in the back of the PC blah 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 I know how to put a computer together I put in two together at my house um, uh, the one I'm currently on at the moment is my recording computer and all its job is to record your computer and once I'm done with that I transfer it to my other computer which is my editing computer and um, then once I get done with that I upload it to YouTube and that's how my process works okay so now we have to insert a, insert a USB drive now you need to put your USB drive into the back of your PC so you can install the virus scanner Press run 1 on the install button to go to your inventory and select USB drive. It plugs into the USB slot in the back of the PC. Alrighty. So we need our USB drive. Boop. 
Okay, and now we need to turn the computer on. It's always a good idea to turn the computer on when it's full of viruses. Ooh, you see that over there? There's something up there that said, uh, press something to boot. Because there is BIOSes in this game too, and eventually when we get far enough in the game, we can start overclocking things. And that's, that's my favorite part. Building the computers is fun, but I actually like overclocking and trying to push the computer as far as you possibly can. One of these days, if I ever had a bunch, a bunch of money, I would like to do like an overclocking um, uh, competition thing. Or just spend like a thousand bucks on a computer and see how far I can push it. That would be so freaking awesome to do. Okay, so let's install a virus scan. Come on, you can do it, I believe in you. You can do it. Go buddy, there we go. Yes, go ahead and restart it. Ah, there it is, hold delete or F2 to enter the BIOS. Okay, start scanning please. And I wish this virus scans in real life were that quick. That is so awesome. Three seconds, scanned the entire system, found all the infected. Clean the files, all, all done. You have removed all the viruses and the PC is ready to be returned to the client. Pick up the PC at the right mouse button and place it in the corridor. Alrighty. But before we do that, let's go ahead and restart the computer. Let's go ahead and show you the BIOS. So here you guys go. Um, this is a very basic BIOS. Um, when you get better computers, you can uh, look at um, um, more things inside the BIOS. So this tells us everything we need to know about the computer. And also this is how you get in the BIOS of your actual computer, if you guys didn't know. You just restart it and either hold down delete, um, click delete, or F2 or F10. It just depends on the computer. So this tells us the date of when the system was produced. So this is a new system. Um, the CPU that's in it, a Celeron dual core, which is a very low level, a very like slow um, CPU. Um, the speed, the memory capacity, um, it's got one memory module of two gigabytes, uh, the RAM speed, the GPU that's inside it, the storage, the RAM over, o overclock, um, uh, different settings, and up here it tells you the CPU speed, the CPU temperature, RAM speed. There's a lot of things in this game and I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead. Ooh, we can factory reset the computer now. Holy crap, that wasn't there. I played this game a couple weeks ago. That was not there. That's awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and boot up the computer. Omega system. I wish my computer booted up that quick. I mean, I have a lot of things on my computer. Well, not a lot of things, but I have like a fast hard drive or a solid state drive, I think is what they call it. So it boots up quickly, but it doesn't boot up that quickly. All right, so we can take the time to take all this back out, which I'm gonna do for this first time, just to show you guys you can do it. And we grab it. And we put it over here by the door. Yay, now we gotta collect our award. Um, there's a faster way to actually do all that. I'll show you that in the next PC. So great, now you just collect. Now you just need to go collect your pay. Okay, so now we go back to this computer and we collect it. Yay! So now as you can see, we got a little bit of experience. As we get higher and higher levels, uh, there'll be more and more difficult tasks for us to do, like installing actual computer components, um, overclocking stuff, um, there's a lot you can do in this game and you get um, like new components that you can get if that makes any sense you get new like computer parts that you can put in and eventually we can upgrade the rig I'm currently using as my personal rig that would be fun okay so let's see hi there I just wanted to say thank you uh, thank you for fixing my PC it's booting faster than it has in years I didn't realize your uncle had gone away looks like the business is in good hands though thanks again Gary Thank you, Gary. I, I like a, that little positive feedback that Gary gave us. Makes me feel like I'm doing my job correctly. Okay, so now we got three new emails. Let's see what the problem is with these ones. Hello, I need some more space to back up my files. Could you install a 500 gigabyte HH um, hard disk drive alongside my existing drive, please? I bring it around first thing. So he just wants us to install a drive, which we'll have to buy of our own money. Right now, we don't have a whole lot of money. We only have 85 bucks. Um, so let's quickly check the store. 
Ooh, this is nice. Okay, so storage. He wants 500 gigabytes. Okay, so that's this one right here. That's 50 bucks. Okay, um, let's see what the other ones want. Hi, my graphics card has fried itself, and I need it to be replaced within the same one. Uh, with the same one for these. Who fries their graphics cards and wants the same exact one? Typically, if that ever happened to me, I want an upgrade. I want something that's better than the one I used to have. But an NVIDIA 970 is not too bad, so I guess I can understand Understand that. Maybe one of those Sheen ones. I could drop it around first thing in the morning. Okay, what about you? Ooh, you're an easy one. Hello, could you have a look at my PC please? It isn't running as well as it did when I first bought it and I've probably not been taking the best care of it. It looks a bit dusty. Or dirty. Could you give it once... once could you give it a once over please? Um, could you give it a look? Probably would have been better to, for that sentence. But I'm horrible with words, so that probably makes sense, just not in my mind. If you can, I'll bring it around t tonight, uh, ready for you in the morning. Okay, so this is a simple one. We just have to remove viruses, which like we did in the last one, and clean out the dust. So I'm accept you. Yes, yes, I know. It's not going to be here today. It's going to be here tomorrow. Ian, I'm going to accept you because I can afford that hard drive. So let's go ahead and accept that one. Yeah, yeah, I know. I played this game before. I know how to operate this stuff. And this is the one he wants. So, so let's add you to cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these are the different delivery times we can do. We can have same day delivery, which means it'll arrive instantly for 100 bucks. Next day delivery, which means it'll arrive tomorrow. And three to five working days, which is uh, for 10 bucks. And it'll arrive like later on in the week. Uh, we're gonna do this. So that'll be 80 bucks. We'll have five bucks left. So let's go ahead and buy you. And then we'll be able to complete both of those. I can't do this one. Um, so I can't reject it either. I guess it's because it's a starting mission. Okay. Um, but let's go ahead and shut down our computer right there when these days I'll upgrade it and let's go ahead and go to bed and start the next day yep here you end your day in advance to tomorrow but make sure you've accepted your jobs and pre-order the components you need before you go home for the evening yep it will they'll both be here tomorrow my parts will arrive so let's go ahead and end today all right customers PC is here we know we know new parts have arrived yep what they should have did so there's our new hard drive all right you're the scan you're the upgrade let's go ahead and do the scan one first holy crap this thing is dusty holy freaking crap man where'd you keep this must have had like four or five dogs in the house that's one thing about ours our dogs uh they do create a lot of dust because uh, they shed a lot <laughs> so we have to clean we have to clean the living room at least once or twice a week because there's just so much dust and so much hair from our dogs. Okay, cleaning a PC. Press the install button and get the compressed air from your tools. Y you then click on the PC components and blow away the dust until it's all been removed. Alrighty, um, so let's go ahead and go to our compressed air. Ooh, there's actually a sound now. That wasn't there before. That's awesome. Before, you had to make your own sound. There was a lot of YouTubers that made fun of that. It was pretty funny. Why did I just say something that was funny that's pretty funny at the same time? I don't know. Alright, so let's get rid of that. Um, let's open this baby up so we can clean the inside. I want to know if the dust actually affects performance. I should have tried that before I um, did all this, but I'm sure there's going to be one later on in the future where um, you have to test performance between um, you know a component that's clean and a component that's not clean there we go boop 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 alrighty it's all clean there's a lot of room in this case by the way it's nice 
I think this, oh, it does hold a ETX, like super large uh, motherboards. Because this is a normal size motherboard. I think it's an ATX. And this one has enough room to um, hold ETXs, which are super large. They're for people that want tons of memory and tons of graphics cards in their um, computer. Okay, um, now we need to install the side rail back. Do, do. Do, 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 do. Okay, and now we need to hook everything up. So cables, put you in, you in. And what's cool is with this game is if you actually don't plug all these cables in, you can't use everything. So if you don't plug the power in, the computer won't boot up. You don't plug the video in, video won't pop up on the monitor. You don't plug these in, then your peripherals won't work. So they've done a pretty good job actually simulating all this. It's pretty cool. Okay, and then we want to go to tools, USB drive, plug you in. Okay, turn the computer on. Go over here to the monitor. Okay, and we need to install our virus scanner so we can get those nasty old viruses off from pop ups and ads and, you know, unwanted porn. You know, everyone knows like all those pop-ups that get really, really annoying. You're like, why do we have these? Why does it keep showing up every single day? Well, you stay away from the bad sides and they won't pop up. You didn't hear that from me though. Warning, files found, scan complete. Yay, computer is now protected. Alrighty. So now, uh, let's go ahead and remove that. This doesn't really matter, you don't really have to do this, but it's kind of good to be in a good practice because if this was real ITT, this is what you would do. You install the virus scan or you do whatever you have to do to get the viruses off and then you take the programs off that you put on to get the viruses off uh, before you actually gave it back to the customer. So it's shut down. Um, oh yeah, the thing I wanted to show you guys, you can just hold down the right click mouse button and it just it takes all the cables off. I tend not to do that because I like to keep a realistic thing going on. But yeah, and you can do that to speed things up. Okay, so now this one needs an upgrade. So now we actually start get to take the case apart. So let's get the side panel off. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. The index NZXT case. Not bad. Night nice cooler. I like your CPU cooler. Okay. Um, we needed a hard drive, didn't we? So we have to take the back off too. Uh, give me the back piece. Give me the back piece. There's our hard drive, and all he wanted us to do was install the new hard drive. So let's open you up. Install. Where's our hard drives? Storage. Um, Put you in. Wait a minute. Did I take the thing all the way out? I did, didn't I? Okay, hang on. Part pieces. Yeah, I took accidentally took the drive bay all the way out. I, I thought it was one of the slide ones. I didn't know it was actually just gonna take the whole thing out. All right, put you in. Then we gotta go cables. Hook you up. Hook the SATA up to the motherboard so it sees the drive, and then hook you up to power so the drive has power. There we go. PC parts. Um, we need the back panel. Put you together. Okay, bring you over here. Put you together. Okay, and now we hook everything up. Make sure it boots. I only have to make a boot to the OS, but I'm gonna boot to the BIOS first and actually see if the hard drive picks up. So, turn you on. Go over here, delete, delete. Yes, got in time. Okay, there they are. So there's his original um, hard drive and there's the one that we put in. So they're both, they're both showing up. And now we just make sure it can boot into Windows. Or not Windows. God dang it. Um, Omega. <laughs> nice background. Jeez. 
Why do I not have a good background like this? I still have the default Windows 10 background on my computer. So lame. Oh yeah, we don't have to install or anything. We just need to shut it back down. Because you are done. So let's grab you. Put you by the door. Now it's time to get paid for our hard work. Oh right, that PC's not on. Okay. Um, power on, please. Omega. Alright, so let's go ahead and collect you. Discard you. Collect you. And discard. Alrighty. Now we got 435 bucks. Doing pretty good. Um, let's see, what's next? Let's see, from Audrey, hot and broken PC. Hi, I'm not very good with computers, but mine isn't working properly. I've been getting very hot, I've been getting very hot lately. I hope you're talking about the computer, not yourself. You might have a heating problem, if that's your problem. And running slower and slower. Oh, it's been, okay, so never mind that, that's a user error. <laughs> I thought you said she has been getting very hot and running slower and slower. I'm just like, uh, this sentence has gotten really, really creepy. Either you have problems with yourself or, or you have problems with yourself. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that sentence. But she's talking about the computer. It's been getting very hot lately and running slower and slower. I don't think I can hear the fan anymore. Ooh, that's dangerous. It lit... It lives on the floor of my dusty office. I hope it's not all clogged up. I'm pretty sure you just figured out your problem right there, lady. If you do if you do have to replace the fan, then please pick the cheapest one. I can't afford anything fancy. You can't afford anything fancy, but you're going to pay me 270 bucks for fixing a fan. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's going to be easy. Air coolers aren't that expensive. Um, but the problem is this is going to be a two-day task because I don't know what kind of air cooler she wants. And I'm probably just going to replace what she has. Because um, the thing with computers is even though there's multiple air coolers, there, some of them are only designed for certain CPUs. Because different CPUs have different sizes. And if you get the wrong air cooler for the wrong CPU size that aren't compatible with each other, then you just wasted your money. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. That will be here tomorrow. And what's this one? Um, stuff for my daughter's new PC. Okay, and this is from gsxgeoff at pmail.com. Okay, no clue. I'm sure this is from someone's office. Hi, I'm giving my daughter my PC and she needs a lot of RAM, apparently. She said she needs 16 gigabytes of RAM and I currently got two gigs, uh, two gigabytes and four RAM slots on my motherboard. Thanks. Okay. That is a big RAM upgrade. Hmm. I mean, we got enough money. RAM isn't super expensive. I mean, it's expensive now, but in-game it's not that expensive. Why does your daughter need 16 gigabytes of RAM? Is she, like, doing a lot of 3D rendering or video editing? Is she a YouTuber? Is that her issue? She has an editing computer and she just needs that much for her YouTube videos. And how old is your daughter? If she's young, then she's a genius. If she's like my age, well, if she's your age, why is she leaving with you? I don't know. I have too many questions about this situation. I'm just going to accept it. And I can't unaccept this one. I maybe have to level up before I unaccept this one. I mean, this is a good payment. I might be able to do this. Let's see. How much does it cost for a GTX 970? Uh, GPUs. Whoops. Graphics cards. Um, let's see, 970, whoops, that is not what I'm looking for. Oh, 265, that's going to be a lot of money though. I only have 435. Let's see. Hmm. We're going to have to think about that one tomorrow. That's going to be the only thing we can do. Because... This is 265 bucks. It's gonna be 295 with shipping. I only have 435. And this guy wants a major RAM upgrade. He's going from two gigabytes to 16 gigabytes. Okay. Um, we're just gonna to have to see how these are going, and I might have to do that one. So let's see. You're in transit. You're in transit. Okay. Well, 
This has been a fun day at work. Let's go ahead and end the day. Our next rounds come tomorrow. There we go. Okay, and I think I'm gonna leave this episode right here, guys. So um, if you enjoy this episode, please leave a like. If you like what I do, consider subscribing. And um, if you want to support me directly, there's a um, <laughs> there's a Patreon in the video description. My mind just went completely blank there for a second. Ooh, this thing is very bright. This is very very bright on top. Holy crap, you like your purple, man. Anyways, guys, until next time, this is Captain Soban signing out.